Good morning, everyone. This is Juan from Team Sketch to React. I'm recording this as a pre kind of preemptive uh, thing, since very soon we will release our Stratus Alpha One to all Gamrodians and Patreons, and you will have most likely tons of questions. So this is like a getting started video. So you uh, receive the Alpha, and uh, you are staring at uh, this folder maybe you're staring at this and you have installed the app we hope so uh, and you open up the app and it looks like this cool and then maybe you have uh, clicked on our release notes good thing to do and we first uh, we can go through the system requirements uh, you can run this on Mojave or Catalina. I'm running it on Catalina and it's a bit faster, actually. So we strongly uh, um, advise you to use the latest Mac OS X version for this. Uh, actually, it's built on Catalina, so uh, good thing to know. Uh, then you need six, uh, Sketch 60 plus. Uh, and then this is really important. You need to have admin rights to your computer or you will not be able to do anything of this. Uh, you will not be able to uh, install node packages and stuff like that. Uh, so, uh, and that brings us to the next, next thing you need node. Uh, so just click here and download the latest ver version, the stable one. And then you will uh, need, you don't need it, but it's nice to have a text editor, code editor, and uh, we really like Visual Studio Code, it's free, just click the link. And then here we have, uh, uh, yesterday I published this crash course thingy on our Medium blog, check it out, read it through, uh, there's a lot of things there, uh, and it will be much, much easier to understand everything if you have gone through this one, what you can do and stuff. So, but let's dive right in. Let's check out, I put some demo, demo thingies here. Uh, we have a style guide document, like that. Uh, we have the framer motion thingy that Frederick did a tutorial on. Uh, here's the code for the framer motion thing. And then we have uh, like a start template. So if you're totally new to this, it will be uh, a bit confusing. Uh, you know, you need to understand our markup language, etc., etc. But uh, so this one is just a blank sketch document that you can use as a start thing. So how do we do this? Okay, let's dive right into this. Let's just create a new project. Let's call this Stratos Alpha Demo. And then select the project folder. And I have no project folder right now, so I will create one. I will call this one Alpha Demo Strats. Like that. And then you select it. And then you need to select your design file. So let's copy our blank sketch file here. Uh, on to our newly created folder here. So here it is. So let's select this now that we have it there. Uh, it's, uh, what's, where is it? There, like that. It's blank, it does nothing, and then create new project. And you will see nothing because we haven't added anything. The sketch file in sketch and see how this looks the first artboard needs to be na named start so this is we already did this for you and the code page needs to be named start here this is from sketch to react how that works so let's just take the text node here text and let's just Type something like let's make H1 like that. 
So uh, if I save right now and check in our code app, uh, you see nothing here. You can even try to reload. We have a, a command for that reload, but nothing is there because we have nothing there. We can check the code bit here uh, and you see that uh, there's nothing here. So let's make this a style component and you do this, you do it like this. Uh, you just curly brackets H1 and the curly brackets and then you save and check go into here and here it is. It's beautiful. So we can check in code here. Uh, we just made a H1 style component. We can also go here to our component inspector and click on it and you will see style h1 and you have the code and the react snippet here so uh, okay so let's put this inside a container uh, we don't need to do that but we let's do that anyway uh, let's group this thing and curly brackets container and, and the curly brackets and this is one of the new things with our updated markup is that you uh, use capital the first letter uh, character is needs to be capital capitalized. So let's check this out. So you, now you see it's it's, ju it's jumped in because now it's on our grid. And another important thing here is that if you click here on the React symbol here, uh, you get instructions how to install the React server. The React server will be you will open this up in your preferred uh, browser. Uh, then later when you start making your own uh, inserting your own uh, custom made react components uh, that are from this side of things uh, you will not see them in the html view because uh, here in the html view you only see stuff that uh, is created inside your design application that is very important to understand so uh, in the beginning you will be you will be very much in the HTML view, but later you will jump to the React view and uh, continue working there. For example, for the frame remotion demo, here you would see nothing more than the SVG, but if you open up the external React view, you would see the animation. Uh, so let's just. Uh, Go through the app a bit. Uh, here is the design view, design file view, you could say, the visual view. Here you have the code view of the artboard that you are on right now. Here you have the download uh, thing and you can download this as a HTML project, a React project or MPM project and totally new for Stratus and it's uh, about being able to distribute your style components to your dev teams. Uh, this is an awesome feature and you will love it. Uh, here is the component inspector. You can check out the, the code, the style component code for this thing. Uh, you have also a public preview. Uh, you can share, uh, say that you are working on something and you want to share it with someone. You just open this in a browser. Let's do that. And you have an ngrok server going on here and this server is just temporary and it's only open uh, when you have the app open so say that you uh, have super confidential stuff you don't need to worry uh, just send this link here and when you close your app the stratus app it will close the tunnel this is great because you can also uh, use your mobile phone and just scan the QR code there with your camera like that. I'm doing it right now. You don't see this, but I, I see this. I can show you uh, how this looks. And here it is. You know, I haven't added the font, uh, so that's why it renders uh, like default uh, Safari fonts. Uh, but if I just add uh, uh, work songs, this font. As an external asset, uh, it would render it here also, and that is kick ass. So, here you can navigate through your artboards, which is really good. Uh, and 
here, my friends, your style components will live. So I created an H1 and I created a container. So both are here. Uh, you will very soon begin inserting your own code components, like custom made that can be made uh, wherever, actually. You could install material UI components, stuff like that. Uh, that's when you start using your external code editor. So one thing I do is uh, I uh, just drag the entire project folder onto Visual Studio Code. So here I am in Visual Studio Code and I also use this place to install uh, the React server. So let's just do that so you can see how easy it is. I'm inside this folder now. I just drag drop it. Uh, I usually just put myself here. You can put yourself anywhere. Uh, just go to terminal and choose new terminal and let's start installing the React server things here. So you write npm install like that and this takes a little while. So I install everything and it looks good. Uh, if you run into problems here, you probably don't have admin rights to your computer. Make sure you get that. Uh, so uh, everything is uh, installed. So re let's just kick up the server npm run start and hit enter. And let's see if this works. I mean React can be uh, very picky and needy. Uh, Especially if you do things wrong <laughs> inside of your design application. It looks good, compiled successfully. Cool. Let's go back to Stratus uh, and let's just view external React view. Boom. You see this is React because you can see the React icon there. And it works. It's brilliant stuff. That's about it. I hope that you will enjoy this alpha and it, it's an alpha that will be running for about 90 days. Uh, we will most probably update the alpha uh, maybe a couple of times within those 90 days. Each time you get a new version it will be valid for 90 days. So uh, we also started a Slack channel for Stratus. Uh, please, if you have feedback or questions, uh, join our Slack. It's open for everyone and uh, jump into the, our Stratus channel. Uh, and so we can gather all the feedback and questions there. Awesome. Have a great weekend, guys. Cheers.